Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily create background patterns for your Twitter profile or MySpace page or any other web page that you have that requires some type of tiled image. Tiled images are always better than, say, regular images because they load faster and any text you put over them always looks the same. If you use a regular photo, for example, what happens is there's dark areas and light areas. And being that text can't be two colors simultaneously in most instances some text will wash out so using pattern is actually better the website for it is bgpatterns.com it's exactly how it sounds bg for background patterns.com p-a-t-t-e-r-n-s it loads this application this is all in the browser it's really simple It's just loading up the app and now we're all loaded up. Now I'm going to give you an example. The default pattern is green with a light, lighter green pattern on it. I'm going to change this to something a little darker looking. I'll go black with a red skull on it. A skull is one of the patterns here. So I'm going to go to colors first, change the background color, and I'll just click in this circle and make it black. And then I'm going to change the foreground color. I can click directly on the bar or I can drag this bar if I want to like this and then I'll change this over to red. Now we have a red pattern but it's not the skull yet so I'm going to go to image and then I'm going to scroll down and one of the last ones here is a skull and then I'm going to hit apply background so I can see a preview of what this is going to look like and then it surrounds the area here with the actual tiled image. That's great. Now let's say if I want the uh, image opacity to be a little greater, it's at 52% by default. So what I'll do is I'll change that over to 100%, make it really visible, and then hit apply background. Now there's also canvas, which will change the uh, pattern. You can't really see it with a black background, but let's just say if I change this around a little bit, I'll change the background color to a light green, and I will change the uh, foreground color, I'll make the skull white and you should be able to see this. What I'll do, is I'll actually zoom in when I'm editing this so I can show you. You see kind of a uh, crosshatch style and if I change it, there's another one. There are five to choose from. There's kind of a little uh, paper looking thing if it's crunched paper or something like that. I can change the uh, texture opacity so I can make it really visible here. So I make 100%, now it's really visible. There's in any number of ways that you can change this. There's uh, a ton of different patterns you can choose from. They all do it perfectly. Oh, also, I'll show you this too. Let's just say I choose another one and I want that pattern to be slightly larger. The image scale is around 55 to 60 percent. What I'll do is I'll actually change that over to 100, make it huge, 100 percent, and then I'll hit apply background here. Now it's absolutely huge. And I can also change the location. If I change this and I hit apply background, now it looks a little bit different. You have the choice between four and five for patterns. So I'll just use the other uh, five patterns. It's a little too large. I'll change that back over to say around 81% uh, looks good. Hit apply background and that's it. Uh, if I don't like this pattern, I'll just choose another one. Hit apply and that's it. That's all you have to do. Now when I'm done, all I have to do is hit download image. It will prompt me to save it. It gives it a random file name. It's a JPEG file. So it says a P-A-T-T -T underscore and some weird number is just uh, generated by the server that it's on. And then you just go ahead and uh, upload this to your Twitter profile or MySpace profile or a web page to your web server if you want. And this is by far the easiest way I have seen to go and create a background pattern for a tiled image that is perfect every single time. So And it's free. So enjoy it, guys. Take it easy.